Thank you for viewing this video today. Uh, my name is Sherry White, and I'm from Fountain of Life Ministries International, uh, home based in Athens, Georgia. Uh, today I'm here on top of the mountain, and as you can see behind me, the beautiful mountain tops. You know, the Lord wants us to go to the mountain. He wants us to hear from Him. He wants to reveal Himself to us. You know, and as I stand here today, I think about uh, Matthew chapter 17, where Jesus takes Peter, James, and John up to the top of the mountain. And it says there he was transfigured before him, before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as the light. Just then there appeared, uh, talking with him, Moses and Elijah the prophet. And Peter, immediately, still in a natural, carnal mind frame, mindset, and he says to Jesus, Oh, it, Lord, it's so good to be here. And let us, let, let me set up three shelters. One for you, one for Moses, one for Elijah. And while he was still speaking, uh, a bright light, a bright cloud engulfed them. And a voice from the cloud said, This is my son in whom I love, and I am well pleased. Listen to him. You know, when we experience the Lord, we need to take heed to that. And we don't need to try to grab hold of it with our carnal mind like Peter did and said, oh, I just want to stay here forever. When Jesus reveals himself to us, it is for a, a purpose, a reason. You know, even the book of Revelation is the revelation of Jesus Christ. It's who he is, who he really is. Who is he to you today? How do you see him? Do you see him like the pictures portray him as um, uh, a poorly uh, person uh, walking uh, every place he went uh, with sandals on, with long dark hair? You know, here right here, this is who he really is. And, and in the book of Revelation... It's who he really is. And in the book of Daniel, it's who he really is. His hair is white like wool. His eyes are a flame of fire. And out of his mouth comes a, a double-edged sword. That's who he really is. You know, it's important for us to move in, in who he is, the revelation of who he is. We stand in foundation. That Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He is the rock. He is our deliverer. He is our healer. That's foundation. In Him do we trust. But we move in revelation. He propels us forward uh, into uh, our purpose and our destiny by revealing Himself to us. So why did He take Peter, James, and John up on the mountaintop to reveal Himself to them? But we cannot catch hold of it in our carnal thinking. There is a change coming in the body of Christ. And that, that shift that's coming, that change that's coming, is in the mindset of God's people. He is revealing himself to us because we are entering into those days that are perilous, that are terrible days, and, and days of, of tribulation. But praise God, the people of God are going to stand on the mountaintop. Like I am standing on the mountaintop. And they're going to be flooded with the glory of God. They're going to be absorbed with the glory of God. They are going to know who He really is. And they're going to begin to move in that revelation. That not only is He the Son of God, but He is the Word. He is the Word. Um, in John... Chapter 1, the book of John, John the Beloved, he leaned upon the breast of Jesus and he, he wanted to know who Jesus was. But he says, in the beginning, I'm in chapter 1 of, of say it, John, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Hallelujah. So Jesus was with God. He's always been the Word. 
And the Word came down to earth and was made flesh and dwelt among us, was crucified on Calvary, rose again on the third day, and ascended back to the Father. You know, as I stand here and I look at this beautiful view of the mountains, I think about the voice of God as it thunders in the mountains. Let Him reveal Himself to you today. Let Get out of your, your mindset of you have to, to only think about, about what your denomination says. But broaden your scope. Broaden your thinking. Let the Holy Spirit touch your mind. Uh, right now, I just speak to your minds. Uh, Holy Spirit, I send you to those that are listening today to touch their minds, to change them. Let there be a shift in their thinking. Let them know who Jesus really is. Lord, let them catch hold with the Spirit of God, with their Holy, with their Spirit on the inside of them, their inner man. Catch hold of that in Jesus' name. Lord, let them be healed. Let them be free from depression and oppression. In Jesus' precious name, thank you for viewing this day.